Hello again everyone, welcome back to some more Landric Plays Hand of Fate 2. Last episode we did the uh, the tower quest, and we uh, saved a sorceress from the hands of the Empire, who made us promise that when we defeat Kalos, the usurper, uh, we'd promise to destroy the game itself, the game of life and death, so that no one man has power over it. Um, well, we'll see how that goes. For now, I think we're going to move on to, let's see, the star. Mages are opening the gates of the underworld in the dark corners of the Empire. Close the portals before it's too late. So, uh, the relics wish only death on their owners. Prepare to scrounge life where you can. That's always a good sign. Gambits. So we're going to be dealing with a whole bunch of different gambits. And what comes crawling from the portals? Prepare for combat against the corrupted. We've not seen the corrupted for ages. Excellent. Okay. Uh, who should we bring with? Well, you know, if we're against mages, let's bring uh, the trickster with us, just because it's been a bit of a while. Encounters, let's uh, go for the fairy ring, the pickpocket, uh, basically anything we've not seen before, so we'll grab this as well. Um, we need to trade food for this one. So we could try and uh, progress Malakalypse's, uh what's his face? Progress his um, special side quests a little bit. Uh, we'll go for this. So, if that's the case, we probably want to bring some food with us. Uh, in which case, let's go to filters and resources, and we want life. So, we'll try and go for that. And if we don't have any more platinum slots, no. Hmm. Really? These are the only ones that grant it? That seems unusual. Alright, well, that. And then we've got some. Oh, there are a bunch of others. I'm sure there must be. Uh, hmm. Okay. Perhaps not. Uh, we can go for the alchemist, and then we'll stock up on food, and we'll use that food to give us life. There we go. That's that's more like it. Anything else we want? Uh, Thomas Dioga. No, he gives us equipment unless I guess we kill him and take his food. So we'll want to do something different. We'll go for this one. Uh, none of these really spark joy. Uh, so let's try... Well, let's just go for something else interesting, shall we? Uh, arm wrestling will give us some money. Maybe we can use that to buy food or health potions. Interception, I guess, has a chance of giving us some sort of resources. Uh, fame and shame? Don't. I think that one can either increase or decrease our fame, based on the title, though I don't know. Unimpressed Farmer, don't know what this does, so let's find out. And then one more. Uh, let's not go for the lower life one. Uh, you know what, let's just go for the general store, we'll see if we can buy something useful. And what supplies do we want to start with? So we're against Corrupted, so they, yeah there we go, we want something like the Dark Thirst or something, something heavy. So we'll try the Harvest Blade as well. Uh, in which case we don't really want a shield, but we probably will want some armour. Do we want any of these things? Grab the Frost Bolt and the Sapper's Bolt as well? Yeah, why not? Uh, we'll go for the the champion's mail. The ooh, that's probably quite good actually. Uh, the pious robes are good against corruption, are they? Interesting. I uh, don't know what this does, so we'll take it. Don't know what this does, so we'll take it. Uh, don't know what this one does, and it's got a shard, which is always interesting. So mm, actually, let's get some rings because that's good against gambits. Ooh, chef's charm. Don't know what that does. We'll take it. Uh, Gambler's Jewel, always good. Ring of Defense, quite good as well. Ring of Food, always good. Sacrificial Bond, blah blah blah. Thieves Folly, Tiger's Eye. Ooh, Tiger's Eye could be good as well. What else do we want to take? Any other weapons, like the Holy Mace? No, I think we're alright actually. Let's take some more rings. Rings are always good, we can wear as many of them as we like. Where are we? This way. 
Uh, we've got, still got a platinum spot, so let's grab that as well. Uh, and then, might as well take the ring of defense. And you know what, the ruby ring as well, why not? Lots and lots of rings. And then to start with, let's take our old friend the questing mace. What do we do to uh, do with this? Oh, we need to defeat 20 corrupted with this, so all those videos beforehand where I was saying, oh, we'll use the questing mace, we'll get some progress with that. Only good against corrupted, so now is the perfect time to take this. Uh, and alongside it, let's take the healing spirits, because that'll come in handy. And then hmm, ring of preparation. Let's just peek at the wheel, but that's not all that useful. Uh, battered helmet? Yeah, let's go with the battered helmet. Just something to give us a little bit more... Uh, little, ah, you know what? Actually, let's just take the food. If we're going to try and do Malakalops' quest, then having a little bit extra will be good there for us. There is much that people meddle with that they ought not. Ah, no, uh, no silver token on this one, just the gold, so it's do Once or die. the end of the game, you have let it shape you. You may have the skills we need to face him, or you may die. The village of Frostford gathers in the town hall to discuss the mage resurgence. Well, an elderly farmer is stood upon the stage. I saw it clear as day with my one good eye, an almighty swirling spiral, black and sparking, come to take my corn. And our lives, comes a hysterical shout from the back of the room. The caucus descends into pandemonium. Let's ask some questions. Uh, he has a little look calming the assembly. A sobbing woman throws a chair at the window in a frenzied terror. Okay. Ask about the portals. He could be lying unintentionally. Old Frank is very, very blind. Uh, we all know mages are around despite the Empire telling us they are merely tales. However, I've heard they're getting more dangerous. A sign of the times. Okay, let's on our way. The mayor stops you before you go, shaking off a screaming farmer. The Empire is off in the north somewhere. There's nobody to help us. I beg you, comb the area for anything suspicious, and if you do, I'll reward you. Ten food when you reveal all encounters on the table. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, you're unsure of where you start, but you know you must close the portal somehow. So, well, let's just go exploring them. Each ah. tool represents part of the power that I once held. On a lonely imperial road, there lies a dilapidated tavern known as the Black Cauldron. So this is uh, going to make exploration exceedingly painful if it's full of brimstone cards, but we'll do what we can. Inside, you spy a group of mages huddled together in the dark corner of the tavern. They are gazing enraptured at a dull copper goblet in the centre of the table. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll take the goblet. The goblet is surprisingly heavy and takes some effort to lift off... Th oh, it's going to give us a curse, isn't it? Merely holding it sends a strange chill up your spine. You try to drop the artifact, but something compels you to keep it. The new wielder of this item will gain a curse. Okay. Goblet's Curse. Consume two food instead of one. Okay, so maybe we're not going to get Malakalypse's quest, but at least stacking the deck with food will probably be helpful. As you pocket the goblet, the mages suddenly stand and turn towards you. As one, they open their mouths to scream, an unholy sound that rattles the mouldy rafters. The pitch increases unrelentingly, and you cover your ears in desperation. The sound rings on in your skull, in your chest. Your knees buckle, and you collapse blindly to the ground. You wish desperately for the screaming to stop. Okay. Yeah, that was no good. So we lose another 5 max life, and now the target's gone down, so we're going to keep uh, having to deal with the screams until... Nope, there we go. So we're going to lose another 5 max life? Yep. Okay, we're already down to 85, but at least the target's getting a bit more manageable. Uh, let's keep those for now, and just trust the dice. No. Gonna be another another 5 max life then. We're gonna have to do this eventually. Oh, okay, well at least we know what we're re-rolling. Only just made the 12. As quickly as it begins, the screaming stops. When your eyes readjust to the gloom of the tavern, you find only piles of ash where the majors had been. You look around, but the building is abandoned. Was it always empty? Well, we've got a, a cursed goblet that says it's probably not. They have begun an inquisition, yet it is too late now. 
You cross paths with a party of Empire soldiers. The commander stops to interrogate you. You there, what do you know about these portals? The commander scrutinizes your face. Of course you don't, you're clearly one of the peasantry. His eyes travel to your weapon. What are you doing with something so dangerous? Forfeit that immediately. Fuck off. Pardon my, uh, pardon my language, but no, it's uh, our, our stick. So we're gonna have to smack some, uh, smack some Empire soldiers around because they tried to take our stick, and that's certainly not on. Let's try again. If nothing else, I'll get a song out of this. Okay, so we've got. Uh, so unfortunately, our artifact we brought with us, the healing spirits. Is only really going to be useful, well, in so much as where are we? So we're losing max life, not regular life, was uh, the important thing. Though, given my performance here, it's probably still going to come in useful. There we go. Bop him. Slowly whittling them down. Just shouldn't be taking this much damage. That was a hell of a leap. There we go. Get you back on your feet, and then. Pow! And. again. There we go, easy peasy. A little bit tricky when there's a lot of them all clustered around you, but as soon as you start whittling down their numbers, then it's not too bad. Ah, uh, okay. Early Herald bounds from a bush and runs, terrified into the distance. The Empire will learn what transpired here. So more Empire monsters into the deck. Okay, but we get some equipment, which is good. Uh, so do we want the Imperial Armor or the Tiger's Eye? Remind me what the Tiger's Eye does. Damage inflicted from pain cards reduced by 5. Excludes damage from shadows. Interesting. I don't know if that will include... I'm assuming that doesn't prevent max life cards. If it did, that would be perfect. And the Imperial Armor... Shuffle, shuffle less, 20 max life when you've got a one-handed weapon. Mm, that's not going to be useful to us, probably. Uh, hmm. We can't wear either of these because we don't have enough fame. The Tiger's Eye potentially might save us from all of those pain cards, I doubt it. Uh, so I'm going to go for the Imperial Armor because we'll be able to wear it sooner. And we get a little bit of gold as well. Ha, ah, we found the, uh, the Alchemist Laboratory, so maybe... Hmm. Well, we'll see what we get. So we can either try and get all of the red ones and make a uh, elixir of life, which will give us a bunch of max life, I think, which could be really, really useful. Or we could try and mix some blue and some yellow, which will be slightly easier and give us food. So to start with, I'm just going to hit select randomly and just let that guide my decision. Okay, so we're going for that. Uh, we'll confirm. And then we'll use Malacalypse's help to, uh, to save us if we need saving. So we've got a yellow mushroom. Let's try a yellow feather as well. Let's aim for that. Oh no, a red mushroom. Yeah, let's redraw. There we go. And then we need the blue beetle next. Or we could go all yellow and try and get some gold, I assume that'd be, but. Uh, so beetle, beetle, beetle. There's the beetle. Let's watch it go round. And nope. Oh, uh, overshot. It's going to be purple. Oh, ho, ho. very close. There we go. So green, two food gain cards, five food, and five food. See, just as planned. Uh, let's buy some more food. 
Five food for 16 gold? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, can we buy any healing? No. Uh, discuss the latest rumours. Aha, map reveal. So there's a portal over there. Uh, two food heals, five life, and Malaclips by one. What? But. Oh! I see. Uh, let's rest once and then leave. Ah, more Inquisitors. He wants to... Mm. So we could forfeit it, which will give up some... Uh, well, it'll give up our healing spirits, which we've not used yet, which will be a bit of a shame. Alternatively, we can go through a fight, which will probably cost us some health, and add more nasty Empire monsters to the deck. I th Ooh, but we do get equipment out of it as well, so the faster we do that the more fame and fame and fortune we get. So let's refuse this as well. We'll get that, we'll Potions equip it. and poultices have somehow flown under the Empire's radar. It's merely magic frozen in form. Also, you know, it's the principle of the thing. We can't just let them confiscate our stuff because it's our stuff. Still not seen any corrupted yet though. I suppose there'll be plenty of those I in the portal it, Okay, just keep bopping you. There we go. Slowly cutting our way through them, or bashing our way through them, I suppose. Mostly being uh, slightly more careful than we were last time. There we go. Oh, there's one left somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. There we go. That was easy peasy. Didn't even lose any health, and we kept our uh, potion y thing. Okay, so more more knights, which is not ideal, but hey, equipment. Power is ultimately the measure of any empire. This is a symbol of that power. All right, that was not super useful, but we'll take it. Band of thugs. So you've seen this before. Uh, this looks like a slightly harder variant of it, but we succeed. So I think we're still going to have to do a fight. Yes, we are. But then there might be some treasure in it for us afterwards. And who doesn't love a good bit of treasure? Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Okay, so more Empire Soldiers. None of those knights yet, but we'll see what happens. I hope this works. So, do some bashes, and then we get a little bit of extra damage. Run around in this swamp, get our feet a little bit wet, which is not great, but you know. Ah, uh, wasn't quite quick enough on the parry there. Oh. Alright, you're all charged up, so you can give us uh, a shield back, which will be nice. Couple more quick whacks and away you go. Hit you so hard we knocked your helmet clean off. Perfect. Alright. So we get a sack full of goodies. Bountiful games. All game cards are applied twice until you leave the level. That's. Hmm. Oh. I mean, it's certainly not bad, it's just a shame there's only two cards left. Getting a little bit more uh, fame though, so soon we'll be able to wield some of those artifacts. An opportunity once more to find what you need. You see an adventurer leaving a farm with a large basket of fresh vegetables and sweet pies. He grins at you as he passes, looking terribly pleased with himself. 
An elderly farmer flaps his hands at you as you near the farm. Ho, adventurer, he shouts. Be you a small potato or an acclaimed hero? Come closer so that my eyes can see you. Uh, let's approach the farmer. 30 fame, what? He squints at you and declares you're a nobody, a small potato after all. Turns his nose up at you and you bid an awkward goodbye before leaving his lands. 30 fame is a lot of fame. Do you know, in all my years I have never set to sea. The land seems safer, if you ask me. After several hours of competitive drinking, an old cartographer has become your new best friend. Come sail with me, he slurs. I know secrets. We just need a deckhand or three. How many of you are there anyways? When you sober up, you decide to investigate his tale of a mysterious island that rises from the depths of the sea every seven years. That sounds worryingly familiar. We'll need a ship. Here's some gold, see what you can find. It seems you've been recruited by an aspiring captain with no crew. You approach a group of seafarers unloading their ship. The captain's face is creased and weathered from too many years spent staring into the ocean. Let's offer them some gold. Uh, after a long voyage, you spy land on the horizon. Okie dokie. Is, so one of those things is success, the others are monsters and pain. Oh, that was pain. Let's redraw. See, if we had that magic ring that lets us nudge this, that would have been perfect. Let's try again. Hoo only just again. But we get a success, so we drop anchor, we wade to shore, the island is a paradise! Vast groves of tropical fruits written in the sun, filling the air with their inviting fragrances. In the distance you spy a mist-shrouded mountain. The card docker documents everything he can find, and the sailors follow along, searching for any hint of gold. On the third day, a wide-eyed deckhand points to the summit and shouts, There's a glass castle up there, boys! I've seen it with my one good eye! Whipped into a frenzy, the sailors ascend the mountain. A wondrous castle of glass has been built into the side of the mountain. The sailors push past, seemingly unimpressed. If there were ever occupants, they are long gone now. The sailors strip the walls of finery and loot the silverware. This trip is finally starting to pay off, says the quartermaster. What gives you the right to take what doesn't belong to you, says the exasperated cartographer. I suggest you help load the ship if you want to sail back in it, says the captain, waving his sword. Ta the cartographer grumbles all the way down as you help haul the takings. As you sail away from the island, there's a lot of text on this card. Uh, as you sail away from the island, it sinks once more below the waves, taking its mysteries with it. Back on the mainland, the quartermaster divvies up the loot. So we can wear our armor. Excellent. We can wield the harvest blade as well, yourself worthy. which does the same amount of damage, but it gives us an extra uh, extra bonus damage. Gains one food if the target is defeated, excludes undead and corrupted. Mm. So if we're going to be facing a lot of corrupted, that's actually not going to be that good. Uh, receive one food if you completed three finishes, excludes corrupted again. Oh, actually, okay, so this is useless against corrupted. Alright, maybe we just hang on to the uh, other, other hammer and sell this one. For paying the sailors in the beginning, you receive more treasure, we get four fame. And our goblet doubles that, perfect. That's... I mean, yay, it's double, but still only three. There we go, that's more like it. Every game comes down to finding an edge. Perfect, so we get that. And we forge a token out of the shards. I think that'll be cosmetic stuff, rather than a new uh, an exciting card, but you know, not too bad. Callus has ruled for 100 years. And in that time, the Empire has become more brutal by the moment. Okay, let's investigate the cave. Stepping lightly, you peer into the cave, and, just as old Frank had described, a great portal churns black as night, sparkling with red lightning. Corrupted creatures crawl from the portal. Uh, the Cursed Goblet in your haversack hums and pulsates with energy, as though the portal calls to it. Let's chuck it in. Portal churns with greater vigor until it explodes, releasing its energy. I would be wary about throwing cursed items into evil portals. That seems. Well, then again, you know, ring, ring of power, fires of Mordor. Maybe that is, uh, you know, 
defeat things by throwing throwing two things together. He's corrupted and mostly just standing around not doing much. That was a bit of a waste, oh well. Alright, we'll not waste that. Go on, instead. 69 damage, nice. Interrupted me. That's very rude of you. How dare. Finish you off before you get back up. Slightly showy finisher. Ow! Leap over here and block you as well. Smack you in the. Well, wherever. Whatever that bit was. And there we go. Alright, one down, three more to go. Let's see how much max health we lose in the meantime. Oh. With power comes consequence. More brimstone. Can you hold the dagger without being carved? Investigating a curious radiance leads you to a cavern strewn with candles. The stalactites look like monstrous teeth in the flickering light. In the depths of the cave, you find a young woman bound with ropes. A mage raises a dagger menacingly over her heart. You cry out in protest, your voice echoing through the chamber. The mage looks up without a hint of surprise on his face. Ah, the hero has come, but what will he do? I require a sacrifice either way. With the dagger poised above the maiden's heart, your hands are tied. What will you sacrifice to the gods? The mage licks his lips in anticipation. Uh, who? Blood, gold, or glory. Well, we can... If we can lose 20 fame. I mean, we've only got 10. But on the one hand, that means it hurts less. But on the other, it means we lose our armor again. But, you know, maybe we'll make it back. It's not the end of the world. Life pain, probably right out, given how badly we uh, did the first one. Although, it looks like they're all going to be slightly different variants of this. Or we could just draw gold pain and hope that we've got something left over. It's not like we have huge amounts of use for it. So yeah, let's do the gold. Throw the gold into a deep cleft in the earth. So 20, 25, and another 20. Alright, quite a lot. But we do get some fame for that, which is nice. He unbinds the woman and offers you the dagger. It will disrupt a portal if such things interest you, he says, blinking away. Okay, what new curse are we going to get? Dagger's Curse. Drawing a life pain card. Draw a life pain card before every encounter. I see. Dagger is uncomfortably warm, but you are compelled to keep it. Ah, did we lose the... No. I don't think we did lose the other curse, did we? Uh, ask her about the dagger. It's cursed, you know, but it's beautiful and rare. The magical doorways have been opened everywhere since last solstice. The maiden swishes her skirts like a little girl and giggles. I think the dagger will close it. It's powerful and dangerous. Let's just quickly check our inventory. Yeah, we still have the goblet's curse despite not having the goblet anymore. So all of these curses are going to mount up. And hey! Wait, hang on, is this going to be... Oh, it's not even every combat, it's just every encounter we're going to lose. Wow, okay, that's going to be bad. Um, uh, let's spare him. Do we get a blessing? Receives 30 max life while no platinum cards are equipped, but we have the platinum ring, so that's totally useless to us. Great. Okay. Alright, not enough to win the contest, but 13 food isn't, uh... Oh wait, no. We don't get 13 food, it's not that kind of card. Lose another 10 life. General store. What kind of equipment have you got? Barely anything we can afford. Let's get the Gambler's Jewel. And... We can afford one food, or how much healing? 10 life for 8 gold. Perfect, let's do that. And let's, ooh, let's sell equipment actually, I forgot we had this. Uh, we'll sell the Harvest Blade, because we're not going to use it. That gives us 19 gold back. Uh, 
I think we I think we still leave so. More pain. There is a ah, reason the Empire portal, has outlawed mages and their work. Magic can undo everything they have done. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we'll lose ten food. And a whole bunch of life actually. But we'd get ten food in return, which is not worth it, is it? Let's Let's just seal the portal and be done with it. Because if we lost even if we lose ten life per thing, rather than max life or something like that, that will put us in real, real danger zone. Let's chuck the dagger in, fight some corrupted, and then move on to the next one and see what happens. Alright, let's give us a shield. Might as well drink my potion as well. And then, oh, just gonna pop away. Try not to get surrounded or anything like that. Just gonna keep rolling and dodging. Rolling and dodging. See? Hey, look at that. Actually uh, did something sensible for a change. Finish you off before you get back up. Dodge that one as well. Hey, look at me go. Finish you. And then hopefully, before anyone tries and swims at me, I can roll away. Manage to uh, avoid those attacks by using our finisher, which is quite nice. Uh, took a tiny bit of damage there. Let's get you back on your feet. Oh, that's not fair. We were in the middle of a finish here. We can't do that. Just bash you a little bit, get a little bit of extra damage. Get a shield from Malakalyps, which will uh, be helpful. There we go. Block, smack, smack, bonk. More finishes, and then hopefully a power attack. There we go. Okay, two portals down, two to go. Still a whole bunch of horrible, horrible curses as well. Alright, let's see what the first curse is here. Four square and solidly arranged. As night falls, you hear the sound of digging coming from the cemetery. You spy a coven of mages with shovels. Steadfast, they dig until they hear a metallic clanging sound. They unearth a small disc. In the moonlight, you can almost distinguish a pattern on its surface. You crouch behind an old oak and wait to see what happens next. Hey! That ring was a worthwhile a purchase. A wind here sets the tone for your challenge. An apprentice arrives laden with pies and cheetahs. The mages make themselves comfortable and enjoy their graveyard snack. <sighs> Continue to watch or sneak up on them, I think. I mean, they're necromancers, right? This is defi they're definitely bad. Let's sneak up on them. Ooh, this is... Okay, at least this isn't moving. There we go. You lift a hunk of broken headstone above your head and launch it at the gravediggers. You manage to take out some of the mages before they have a chance to arm themselves. So it's just us versus the skeletons, which should be no trouble at all. Hmm. Still gonna have to contend with the curse though, which isn't uh, great. Oh, it's just two skeletons, really? Oh, that was... I'll just take a quick drink before you manage to kill that skeleton. Ah, you missed. How? Well, that was a very short encounter. Sneaking up on them was definitely worthwhile, I guess. I, 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 I want to know what happens if we'd have waited and watched, but I reckon they would have just summoned more skeletons. So let's take the uh, take the disc. There you go, the pentacle. So we've got a new curse. 
Pentacles Curse. Draw a curse card before every encounter. Are you kidding me? Uh, what happens if we explore the graveyard? Alright. Let's go for that health. Oh, no, too far. Uh, let's redraw, because that one looks particularly bad. Okay, it's not the life. Wait, could we not have nudged it before? Oh, I guess we could have chosen to stay and then nudged it back. Ah, oh, well, you know, you live and learn. Uh, but no, we're not going to nudge the wheel. We're going to take the gold, I think. Or do we take the 50 max life? No, we take the 50 max life. I, it really shouldn't have been a question, but it was more a case of I thought we'd lose the ring if we did that, but I don't think we do. So, glistening berries, sweet scent, delicious, delicious berries. Uh, I think I'm going to skip these two. I feel like it's unlikely the portal is there, and if we're drawing curses before every encounter, which is pain card and... Okay, light weapons deal less damage isn't a problem. I would hope you know better than to keep counsel with the Fae. Those deals never work well for your kind. This is true, unless we can be extremely tricksy. In the depths of the forest, you find a young woman crying, her child tugging at her skirt. She tells you that her eldest has disappeared after ignoring her warning about the fairy ring. You notice a circle of toadstools in the meadow nearby. You offer to help find her child. As you step into the middle of the ring, everything fades. Your vision returns, but the forest is no longer the same. The trees are purple and the sky shines yellow with a bright blue sun. Treading through this strange forest, you encounter a brownie with a head too big for his body. I'm so hungry. Will you spare some food? So we can give him all of our food. I uh, I don't think we can afford to. But I'm hungry. As he bursts into tears, he grows as tall as a house. He tries to devour you, but you dodge his attack. He chases you through the forest. The path ends suddenly when you run off the edge of a cliff and into the rapids. So we lose five food anyway. The damage will persist unless you can find a meal to relieve yourself. Lose gold whenever you receive life. Goodness. Okay, well that's less than ideal. Wow, that's even less than ideal. Let's reroll all of those. There we go. Much better. Um, I still think we skirt this because the more the more curses we pick up, the less likely we are to uh, get through this bad practice. Hits requiring a... okay. General store, we're definitely going to buy some healing. Uh, which will cost us some gold as well, actually. Let's buy this one as well. And then we'll buy some food as well. And if we can camp... And we'll also use our... Oh no. We'll camp and then we use up the... Uh, where are we? Artifact. We'll heal. Which uses up the last of our gold. We'll break camp. And we'll press onwards. Lose one gold every time you're hit. Okay. I hey, I got an achievement for having so many curses. Uneducated into the darkness. So we don't have any money to do the mystery chest. More curses. No food, brittle bones. The effects of all pain cards are applied twice until the next map. <laughs> okay. So that's almost certainly just Your going to kill us outright. And will be of little use to you here. Okay. So this is definitely going to be a a testing uh, a testing quest, I believe. I hope this works. Okay, at least it's only two guys, even if they are incredibly difficult guys. Let's keep 
chipping away at his armor. And then, there we go, smash his helmet off. And then we can just finish off you as well. Ah, got hit. Twelve life left. Let's see if we can get an extra bit of a shield from now. Dodge under your strike, kick you in the back, and then pow, there we go. Right off the bridge with you. Does mean though that the next uh, the next step we take, we're probably just going to spontaneously combust. Twelve health left. Get three food, which is good. So if this is the portal, we might be okay. Okay, we're on seven health. Uh, nope, straight away, just dead. Once I was the great. Every failure in combat can be balanced by success on the table. Okay, I can see why uh, there's no silver, uh, gold and silver token on the star, because it's pretty brutal just to get through it. But we uh, we did manage to create a token at least, so let's see what's inside that. Ah, interesting. So it's not just cosmetic stuff, we've got uh, something we can add to our supplies. A little bit of extra fame so we can get those artifacts and armor a little bit quicker. That's not too bad. Carry on. Do what you will. So it is the nice thing about this game. No matter how many times you sort of lose at a thing, you probably unlock at least something going through it. Although that is going to be a tricky one to do. Still, that can wait until next episode. Thank you very much for watching, folks. And I will see you next time.